Welcome back to the Brennick channel. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a PayPal button for your website. Stay tuned. So once you get logged into PayPal, you want to come up here to tools and you want to go over here to where it says all tools. And that's how we'll start this. Once you get logged in and everything, you can do like a subscribe donation add to cart, um, buy now, installment plan, <clears throat> installment plan, automatic billing. So what we're gonna do is a buy now. I need to redo my t-shirt for my web page, so we're gonna do that. And the problem with the button I have currently, it says that shipping's free and after shipping one thing, it's cost me $2 to ship everything and I'm all, I'm taking a loss of two dollars I can't have that so what I want to do is buy now and we're gonna enter the item AM t-shirt and we're gonna enter the price so what I'm gonna to have to do is the price is still gonna be the same we're gonna to have to add a shipping cost and it cost me seven dollars to ship one shirt so I'm not paying for that no more so that will be the new price I still won't do a sales tax I'm going to add a drop down menu. The drop down menu is going to say sizes. And I already wrote in all these. These are going to be my prices. So small is going to be small is going to be $15. Medium is going to be $15. Large is going to be $15 extra large is going to be $15 2XL is going to be $15 3XL is going to cost more because it cost charges me more 4XL is going to cost more because it costs me more so that's the way we're going to do that I'm going to do $7 for shipping and and that's the way that's going to be because, because it's costing me. Um, I'm paying $10 for the shirt. And then I'm making literally like $5 a pop off of these. I'm not really making no money. These are 12 and these are 13. So I just want to make $5 a shirt. And if I got to ship them, it's $7. So that's what you got to do. You can do track your inventory if you want. You come up here and say how many you got in stock, and and uh, it'll keep track for you and let you know if you want. And you can also do you can also do a buy sell out. Um, then there's other things you can do. You want the customer to change the order or qualities and all this. It's all here. You can fill it out at your own discretion. You hit create button. Once you hit create button, the code will pop up. You come over here, you select the code, you right click, you hit copy. So this right here is what I got. I use Elementor and um, I use Elementor and it's in WordPress. And what I do, is I use an H that's an HTML code that came with your PayPal button. So what I'm going to come over here and do is is uh, select all. So you hit Control A and then you delete and it'll go away. And now you want to paste what you got. So you hit Control V and it'll re redo it. If you guys use Elementor, I recommend it. If you guys get a website, I, I assume you do. This is why you're looking at this. But it's pretty neat. So now you have all these sizes and it switched. So it went from the other to this and now, now I'm good. I don't like the color, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna go to advance. Didn't realize how dark it was till just now. I don't like that, so the background I'm gonna change to a different color. I'm gonna go with more of lighten it up so it's easier to see. Um, red's darker. Let's go with this light blue. Nah, I don't like that. Black's too much. Um, 
I have to go gray. I don't like that. No, I just have to do the white. I'm really not a fan of white, but it, it's what pops the most. You guys can do whatever you want and put whatever you want there. It is what it is, but that's how you do it. And then you just hit update. And then you can go over here to this little thing right here, preview, and it'll take you right over to your after midnight. And you should be able to buy a t shirt. And then whenever you click on it, it'll take you to PayPal. You hit buy now. And then it'll click you over there. And then you got to log in. And it'll say that you owe $22. And I'm probably going to have to put that to that, that um, I need to put under there $7 for shipping. So what I want to do, if you guys know anything about Elementor, I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to add a text box right there. I'm going to put it in the middle. And I'm just going to have to put the $7. So I hated to have to do that, and I tried to get away with doing it. But whenever I ship my first one, it was just a bad deal. The, um, just, just a bad deal in general. And the shirts are 15, but you have to pay for your own shipping to get it there. I can't afford to do it at the event, but it is what it is. But I don't like this color. I always do the green because that's our color. So I want to come over here to style it, and then I'm going to hit... I'm going to hit this and then I'm going to type in my code, which is 00F. Oops. 00FF00. And now it's that. And with that being done, that's the end of the video. Um, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications. I'm trying to do a video every other day, if not every day, if I can. Um, you guys have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye.